Hey guys, how you doing? So I just got in two fragrances and uh, I had to give you a first impressions right away because I'm blown away by both of them. And you know, the first is uh, one that's been on my wish list for a while. It's Floris' 1962, um, which has a bit of a, a cult following, but you know, I think it's a little bit too hidden um, to even say that. Uh, I don't know if too many people know of the fragrance um, among the florist lineup. Um, I somehow came across it through a couple reviews and then read about it um, and I was intrigued and uh, I got it here for you today. I'll do a full sort of review including presentation. Um, the other fragrance just so you know is uh, Amouage's Epic Man. Um, I'm, you know, I have a couple Amouage fragrances but I uh, have been meaning to try more, right? Just to find out what works best for me. And Epic Man, man, is a great one. And so I'll be, doing, I'll be talking about that one in another video right away. Um, so let's talk about Floris 1962. Uh, check out the box presentation first. Um, very nice. Uh, it, you know, Floris fragrances come in a little box like this where you, you take off this little top sleeve and then you're left with the box and then the fragrance usually sits inside like this on a little stand. Um, <clears throat> the box, I mean, I love the artwork. It's beautiful. Um, you know, I don't usually care too much about boxes. It's just a nice bonus, right? Uh, I use them mostly for uh, spraying when I'm testing fragrances. And here's the bottle. Um, nothing, you know, that you didn't expect. Very nice, classic, nice glass. Uh, relatively, you know, thick cap, um, not plasticky, not the heaviest cap, but a really nice heavy cap, uh, kind of heavy cap. Um, and this, you know, Floris has a bunch of fragrances that are named after a year. It's sort of inspired by, I guess, the times, um, certain kind of events or images. So let me read you a little bit of what it says here. Uh, you know, first it says 1962 Carnaby Street, Soho, London, summer of 1962. And, you know, it's supposed to sort of evoke, um, you know, when, when uh, like a certain era in, in London, you know, we don't have to get into details, but you know, it's talking about um, an era of love, modernism, evolution, music, art. You know, there was sort of a cultural um, boom in, in Soho, London. Um, then, you know, it's talking about coffee bars, rock clubs, really just uh, sort of, um, you know, the, the bohemian culture of London, right? So you imagine something, you know, hip, uh, energetic, lively. That's sort of, you know, what I expected with this fragrance. Um, then describes the notes a little bit, you know, vibrant notes of effervescent bergamot, bergamot, zesty green mandarin with herbal hints of basil, spearmint, spice, lead to a warm, powerful heart of cypress and jasmine. Base notes of cedar wood, moss, and musk and amber um, to create a woody nuance as well. So basically, you know, I really don't need to spray it again because it's such a strong fragrance. I want to save the juice, but on first spray, you know, the first thing is that I could tell this is a strong fragrance and it's going to perform and project. Uh, this is very aromatic. It's sort of in the, um, category of your, you know, uh, kind of masculine barbershop fougere type of scents. And this fragrance, you know, I loved it, you know, right away from the opening. Um, and it reminded me immediately of one other fragrance. Uh, and it's Raja's Scandal. Yes, yeah, so, you know, rather than really getting into, you know, breaking down the notes, if you've ever smelled Raja's Scandal, the best way I can describe the smell of 1962 is it's the same sort of uh, family as Raja Scandal. In fact, there's a lot of similarity there, but I just, you know, I'm not the, uh, if you've seen my videos, you might know, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Scandal. Um, I know a lot of people really love it. Uh, it's not my favorite among the Raja line. I prefer Elysium and Danger. Um, Scandal had something sort of uh, like a little bit too strong and stinky in the base. This one just comes across, you know, I told you I liked it right away and that's because it comes across a little bit more herbal fresh and, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit smoother and more tame. Uh, it seems to me like a more refined version. Of course, you know, like quality wise, uh, you know, Scandal's no joke. They're, they're equivalent if, you know, you could say Scandal's better, but the, the kind of smell that this is, it's a smoother, um, 
type of scent than Scandal to me. Scandal is more in your face and aggressive, um, but it's very, very similar. And when you look at the notes, you see why. You know, this is, has a very prominent mint note, um, same as Scandal, you know, so they share notes of uh, mint, basil. I get a lot of basil here. Now I told you there's this herbal freshness. Compared to Scandal, maybe a little bit more floral uh, qualities in, in 1962. Um, I love jasmine and jasmine in, is in here. Now, uh, both Scandal and 1962, you know, as with a lot of classic fragrances, has a, a, you know, is based on oak moss, um, and you definitely get that. Uh, this gets compared also to uh, Tom Ford's Italian Cypress, which has been discontinued, and I haven't smelled that ever, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but you know, it has. Compared to Scandal, a little bit more like a green uh, herbal or fern-like freshness to this. But basically what you get in the scent is a lot of mint, uh, basil, uh, and cloves, okay? And oak moss. <sighs> Man, it's just so good. It uh, feels like a classic men's scent, but it's not, um, you know, it doesn't feel old at all. Now, you know, you compare this to uh, other floor, other fragrances um, that Flores has, you know, like this classic right here, uh, number 89, right? You know, one of Flores' signature scents and most famous, <clears throat> the scent that uh, Ian Fleming wrote about in his James Bond series. This one uh, came out in the 1950s, whereas, you know, 1962 is a, a 2016 release. And you definitely get that di difference. You know, 1962, is a very trendy modern fragrance, just like Scandal, Raja Scandal, while having um, sort of, you know, built on the classic men's fragrance structure. Um, you know, mint is a popular note that uh, I think is used a lot in, um, in, in today's kind of sense, um, and it gives it that modern aspect. You know, think of fragrances like I always mention Diptyque's Eau de Minte, right? Very aromatic, Kind of masculine scent, um, fresh out of the shower kind of feel, a little bit barbershop. Same with uh, Creed's Viking, right? Very classic yet modern, right? That one has a twist with the pink pepper. Uh, 1962 and, and, and Scandal, same vein, you know, mint, right? Um, uh, but Scandal and 1962 have this kind of added herbal aspect. A lot of basil in here uh, and cypress uh, and oak moss, right? Um, but as I was saying, Flores number 89 has a little bit of a more old feel to it. A little bit more stuffy, kind of uh, conservative. You know, I think it's, it's, it's more powdery and romantic. It has uh, notes of rose as well mixed in there. While still being masculine, it has a very classic vintage -y feel. But 1962 is, your, is sort of a modern scent that I think um, you know, younger people could wear as well and enjoy. And the projection and performance of this is going to be better. Um, this one is an Eau de Parfum. And like I said, when I sprayed it, I could tell immediately that it was going to be a strong scent. And let me give you another spray right now just to see. Yeah, so again, blast of mint, cloves, and then basil and this nice like creamy jasmine that's in the heart um, and what's interesting is you know I, I said that this is sort of feels like a more refined version of scandal or smoother type of version a little bit uh, more delicate and I think it might be the amber in here giving it that like sweetness uh, in the base it has a nice very nice cedar and amber in the base but man, so good, so good. This has got to be, you know, one of the best things I've smelled recently. I love it because it's modern, it's masculine, it's aromatic, it's strong, good performance. And there's something, right? It smells different uh, from, you know, most of your other, the scents that people are familiar with. Um, definitely niche quality. You know, that's my first take of 1962. Very few times that, you know, I love a fragrance this much right away and I'm so happy when this happens. Um, you know, maybe I'll do a more complete review, you know, if you want later of this after I give it more wearings. But man, you, you could probably 
you could blind by this, um, especially if you like scents like Scandal. Now, I don't even love Scandal, and I like this one. Um, it's just nicer, more delicate, yet masculine fragrance. So good, so well blended, uh, unique. Man, so get this one, guys. Um, if you're looking into the House of Flores, uh, I'll probably try a few others and then let you know what I think, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.